TOF SIMS data can be converted from ASCII files containing three columns of information. The first two columns should contain mass and the channel number that is associated with the mass, and the third column must be the counts in each one of these channels. So if we go to the Convert to VAMAS dialog window, you can see this directory contains .ion files. These files are ASCII files that contain the mass information, the channel information and the counts. And when we select one of these files and press open, the file is read and the mass spectrum opens in CASA XPS. Initially the mass spectrum is displayed using a time plot. So the native format for a time of flight spectrum is that intensity is recorded as a function of time. So at this point the mass is plotted as a label on the abscissa using the relationship of mass is proportional to the square of the time. And hence you see a nonlinear scale here when in a time plot. We can however convert a time plot to a mass plot using the split TOF spectrum into AMU blocks. And what this does is it converts the time spectrum and rebins the data according to a set of VAMAS blocks that are associated with the unit mass. So when we overlay all of these VAMAS blocks we now see a time spectrum that has been converted to mass and now we have a linear scale in terms of mass and each one of these peaks actually represents a VAMAS block that we can look at individually rather than as a, as a full spectrum. So for example if we look at this one you can see there are a set of peaks here which you could then peak fit or integrate using regions to work out the intensity of this spectrum relative to say the one at 29 which looks very different. 